we get to by an intern, is all of you more popular than Martin Luther King and soulful singer Alvaro Blessed is in the house right now on Ladies Ladies, now y'all doing okay? Yeah! Are you excited? Yeah! Are you ready for a good show? Yeah! And we have just that, and we have just that. Have you guys actually heard about uh, P. Diddy? He's being sued by a former intern who claims she should have been paid for her work. Running errands and making coffee. She feels she was taken advantage of. What do you think? Girl, bye. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, seriously, you know, that's what an internship is about. I mean, I do, granted, you, you are supposed to learn certain things in an internship, but coffee, getting coffee, running errands, mm -hmm. uh, getting copies made, all that is a part of an internship. So, I mean, that's where you learn. I think our society, a lot of these young women and young mm -hmm. men feel like they're supposed to get it instantly because they can get on the internet and find things instantly. Nobody goes and looks up anything in the Cycl Encyclopedia Britannica. Like, I don't even know if it, ex it exists anymore. Right, right. But I mean, I think people want things so instantly, so she can go ahead and have several seats with that. Oh, absolutely. I used to work for Diddy, as a lot of you may know, I was a finalist on Making the Band whoop, whoop. When, mm. when he made Danity Kane, and I was just happy for the opportunity, to be honest with you. And even when I've had other intern experiences, I was happy for the opportunity, but when you work for someone like, um, P. Diddy, you should expect to get, you know, to have to do the grunt work and work your way up because that's how he got on. He's not making anybody do anything he didn't have to do himself before. You know, but I, I think it needs to, needs to be cake. fair, though. Like, I think we've all worked in the business. You know, we've all worked in the, in the film industry or have worked in the film industry. Uh, I've seen interns being taken advantage of. So, yes, I believe that, yes, you may have to get me coffee. Yes, you may have to do some filing. Yes, you may have to do some stuff. I'm very conscious that when I have someone who's working with, with, with for me for free, that they need to get something out of it, right? Sure. So I, I, right, am I right? Yeah. So when they work with me, I make a, you know, where if someone who's like a PA that's getting paid to work for me when I'm working on a set, I may, you know, say, go get me some coffee. Where with the intern, I may say, go get me some coffee. And when I get my coffee, I'll say, so this is what's going on, and then send you back. And, if, and I, so I understand that, uh, now, would I sue somebody? If all, of, uh, if all I was doing was getting coffee, no. I would do my best to watch what's going on. When I get yep. the coffee, drop it down. When I have to file, read the stuff in the file. Unless it says personal and confidential, I read it. That's, that's how I was right. when I was coming and, up. Right. An intern or not, as a producer, I still sweep floors, mm. get coffee. I do what I have to yes. do to make yeah. sure our show is that's right. right. You so let's not get it twisted. You never get too big to do the little things. That's Absolutely. what it is. That's, that's what right. it is. Absolutely. All right. So, wait, so I always want to talk about a little something. Little, little, the nerd side of me was very, very, very excited. To, uh, the government has finally admitted that Area 51 exists. Does everybody know what Area 51 is? That's like everybody saw Independence Day where they kept the aliens and they've all said there's no such thing as Area 51. They finally admitted that it exists. They haven't said whether the aliens are there yet. <laughs> but So what else do Angela. you think? Angela. <laughs> Baby, don't nobody care about that. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't got time for that. sci-fi nerd here uh, in look the Look at Esau. No, right. Oh, good. For that, right. I'm saying exactly. we have to. I mean, okay. other than the bigger question of like, is there life outside of people? Which I absolutely I agree, there's life out there. But like, what else? What other secrets do you think the government has been hiding that they won't admit to? That's like that's still of. Like they finally admitted to this years and years later. Yeah. What else do you think there might be? I mean, they hide everything from everything. us. Everything. 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 Oh, the big deal. Everything. Exactly. I mean, to me, it's pick they hide everything. I'm just trying to live my life. They might have Elvis. <laughs> they may have Elvis and Tupac, Tupac. down there in Area 51, <laughs> and they might right. be hiding out down there. Right. You know? <laughs> right. All right. Let's move on and talk about this. A recent poll showed that Paula Deen is more popular amongst Republican voters in Georgia than, get this, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Can you believe that? So, so what are we uh, now? Is recipes beat out rights? Right. I mean, that's basically the question. Like, what are your thoughts on that? I want to get your thoughts on that. Are you surprised? No. Oh, okay. No. I was like, okay, okay. I'm not. I don't know. I mean, I'm not surprised, but I don't think it's so much about it, a racist or racial thing as mm -hmm. much as it is that they just like fried chicken. Like, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I think no. it's like Paula Deen's alive and she's here and she's somebody's sweet grandma and that's why mm -hmm. half the country she defended her after sweet. all that mess went down. I'm just saying that this this is this persona sure. that that she has, and you know, and I, and as a 
When you think about Martin Luther King, if you have any, if, and you're a Republican that's always trying to, I'm not saying all Republicans are trying to stomp rights of people, mm. but, but you think about that, <laughs> I'm sure they kind of feel, I don't know if there's some guilt there or what, that the connotation of do I feel good when I think about MLK might be a little bit, well, maybe I feel bad for kind of trying to, you know, stop things down when he was trying to get things going. I think mm. it speaks to where we are in this country when it yes. comes to racism. Yeah. We have not come far at all. I think, mm. I mean, we have. Yeah. But now the racism is so hidden now. It used to be like, I don't like you because you're black. Now it's like, hi, how are you? Right. And thinking all the worst things that they could think right. about you in your head, yeah. in their head. So um, it just speaks to where our country is. Yeah, absolutely. And speaking of Dr. King, we decided to ask folks around Atlanta how they think he would weigh in on some very important pop culture questions. Hey there, Ladies Night TV. This is your girl, Jasmine. I'm standing here with Ed and Scott Real History. Tell me how you knew Dr. King. I met Dr. King at Bright Hope Baptist Church in Philadelphia, uh, where the Reverend Congressman Gray was the pastor. We got a chance to meet him and Ralph Abernathy together. And that really turned my, I was just coming out of the Army, and my perspective was brand new. And uh, he brought a new message, and boy, he had me on board. Do you think that uh, Dr. King would watch The Real Housewives of Atlanta? Yes. What? Yes. yes. He would watch uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta. Martin Luther King had a good sense of humor. Okay, do y'all think MLK would walk down MLK Boulevard at night? <laughs> By himself? <laughs> Absolutely not. In Atlanta? No. He is not dumb at all. Right, no. By himself? No. I think so. What? So who would be his favorite housewife? Who would you say? I really don't watch I really that. Don't, I don't watch it, so I don't no, know. We're, we're, we're in the church, you know. We, <laughs> right. we, we don't hang out with oh, that Oh, but yeah. you know, but you know he would have been watching it, but I you don't so watch it. Like that big girl, that big girl. I think he'd have liked that. Yeah. 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 Who, Nini? Yes, that's a Nini. Yeah. yeah, the big girl. The, the real, big girl. Are you watching? <laughs> no, I, I put through, yes. <laughs> okay, well, Dr. Martin Luther King watched Scandal. Yes, he would. Okay, so do you think uh, Dr. Martin Luther King would be a fan of Tyler Perry? I feel like everybody is a fan of Tyler Perry, regardless if you bash him or not. Like, you love him. He's funny. He's, I think, yeah. Okay, would uh, Dr. Martin Luther King like Tyler Perry movies? All depending on which one. Some of them, yes. Others, no, because it just puts African Americans in a bad situation, in a bad exposure. Yep. And the youth have spoken. Okay, right. So <laughs> Paula Dean and Dr. Martin Luther King would not be friends. Is that what I'm hearing? Oh, yeah, definitely. He probably, no, mm -mm. I mean, I think Martin Luther King was really loving to anyone. I don't think that they would be like, Call, hey, having a barbecue, cookout. So Dr. Martin Luther King would have ate Paula Dean's cornbread. Ooh, what? <laughs> no, I didn't want to oh, no. <laughs> Dirty mind people. I was not saying that. <laughs> I think that he would be down with anybody and appreciated anybody, no matter what color they were, as far as long as they were supportive. And Paula Dean is from the South, and she cooks Southern food, so he would probably say something about her food. And you think he would eat in her kitchen after what she said? I think he would eat in her kitchen. I, I forgive her for some cornbread. I, I forgive her for the cornbread. You, you're perpetuating the stereotype. We'll do some dances for some cornbread and some fried chicken and some watermelon. I forgive her for it. I forgive her for it, though. Okay, there you have it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have a dream that singer-songwriter Algebra Blessed is coming up next, yes. so don't go away, I ladies like night TV. <laughs> We're in the ATL. Y'all ain't. <laughs> <laughs> but that does not mean you don't get to enjoy all of the amazing musicians we have down here. That's right. She's collaborated with artists like NDI Re and Esperanza Spalding, and she's about to release her second album. Please show your love for the fabulous Algebra Blessed. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies, hello. 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 Beautiful. Hello. So pretty. So for those people oh, who you. don't know about you, shame on you, first of all. <laughs> but um, who is Algebra Blessed Musically? Algebra Blessed Musically <laughs> is a, um, 
a combination of everything I've ever heard, ever felt, you mm -hmm. know, every song I've ever sang with, you know, growing up as a little girl. And I think anytime I write a song or sing a song, it comes out of me, you mm -hmm. know. So whatever records my mom listened to, my grandmother listened to, and you know, it just inspired me to do this. Right. Mm -hmm. now, you went from major label, and now you have your own record label. Mm -hmm. What is that like? Or, and were you kind of forced to do that? Tell, about, tell me about the transition. You know, in my mind, I always felt like I was on my own label anyway. <laughs> you know, <laughs> even though I was signed to a big, you know, Motown Records, and then went on to Kedar Entertainment. And uh, it just motivated me to really be involved in my music, you know, mm -hmm. have more. I, w I always wanted to do something, keep my integrity in my music. Mm -hmm. And um, I always had my say so, even mm -hmm. with Motown or with Kedar. So now it, it's so, all you. Yeah. Now, uh, Algebra, you're from the ATL. Mm -hmm. What do you think it is um, that makes Atlanta so special and why it creates so much music here? Because we are city slickers and country bunkins. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like you get, you get, a, you know, the, the, the speed. And I mean, we have the best trees ever. Mm -hmm. We get yeah. to see the seasons change. Yeah. And um, everybody comes here. You know, there was a point in time, especially like Circa Olympics, right. mm -hmm. you would be on the highway and you wouldn't see a license plate tag with Georgia Peach right. on it. Mm -hmm. It was from everywhere else. So I think it's a good place to work, to make money, and a good place to spend it. Yeah. yeah. So, so who, do you, who do you listen to? Like, who are the people that you li like? Who's on your iPod? Right now, um, myself. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we're mixing this album, so yeah. I have to make listen. sure the, the guitars are right and the drums are right. Mm -hmm. So, myself, uh, a lot of Whitney Houston, mm -hmm. a lot of. Um, Doobie Brothers, a lot of mm -hmm. anything, you know, gospel artists. Right. Um, I like this new artist, Tasha Scott, you mm -hmm. know, so mm -hmm. I mean, just, just whatever, you know, anything that makes me feel something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who inspired you? Like, where, do you, where is this from? Is there someone in your family? Yes, my mother. My mother, she's a, uh, she's a bassist. She's a minister. She's a songwriter. Wow. And uh, my great-grandmother, I, I grew up with quartet gospel music. Okay. That's what I came home listening to. Mm -hmm. They were rehearsing in the house, so I grew up listening. To and I took my entire life up until maybe sixth grade, I ran from doing music. Wow. wow. I did not want to sing. Everybody sang, everybody played an instrument. We went to church more times than enough. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, that that's what it was. Mm -hmm. I mean, I wanted to be a showgirl or Aww. anything. Yeah. <laughs> just don't want to sing. I don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. And it was just on my back. You know, right. I always loved singing, but I didn't I didn't set out to do that right. as a little girl. Mm -hmm. You know, I just wanted to be, you know, be there to support my family. Right. You know? Right. Yeah. Well, you said you, you have your your music in your iPod. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit more about your new album. My sophomore album. Look at that smile. First of all, I'm excited. So excited. Am right? I showing that? Yes, I'm you sorry. are. You are. It's, the name of it is Recovery. Mm. Um, the first album was Purpose. Recovery. Uh, I've been asked this a few times, and they're like, "Oh, what happened to it? Yeah. She got on crack." Right. What's wrong with it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it's not a rehab album. It's just that process of healing. Mm. I'm, I'm sure you all know. Um, we. When we go to bed, you know, our cells are regenerating. We are, um, we drink water before we go to bed. We get dehydrated, you know, we, we rehydrate. And um, it's just a healing process. You know, we heal, we walk and we fall, bump our knee. And, get and as up. we're yeah. continuing our day, that sore is healing. Mm. You know what I mean? It's just something that we do. So it's not about recovering from heartache. It's just that's a part of our lives. It's a healing process. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like we live in a, a life of experiences and healing mm -hmm. without Absolutely. even knowing yeah. sometimes, you right. know. Right. So um, you used to just use algebra. Mm -hmm. Why algebra bless it now? Well, as you know, when we Google algebra, Mm -hmm. <laughs> what comes up, mm -hmm. uh, tutorials about, you know, uh, the Pythagorean theorem, how to apply <laughs> that geometric equation to right. solve this problem in algebra. And I just felt like, even though my name isn't Mary, it just needed to, Algebra Blessed is the musician, mm -hmm. the singer, the, the girl that we can relate to, right. you know, right. and not just, uh, not the subject. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like that. Yeah. I like that because I was wondering. I was like, was it a label thing or was it? Mm -hmm. It was just like I, ha I have to set myself apart from math. Yeah, because they just <laughs> wanted it pretty much. Yeah. I mean, that, that's pretty much it. <laughs> because the label wanted it, they're just like, oh, algebra is just great. Right, it's such a powerful name. It's like, yeah, but you know, I didn't have it first, right? Right. So, <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. I just, you know, put my last name in there mm -hmm. and let them know it's my real name. Mm -hmm. It wasn't. Um, it wasn't a gimmick. 
you know, my mother named me that, so. So powerful and so deep. Yeah. Thank but you. let me ask you, especially because you're from Atlanta, mm -hmm. there's a lot of ratchet TV on. Do you watch? Guilty you Pleasures. Who, who's ratchet? <laughs> who's ratchet? I mean, do you watch any of the, the show, Tedra? Yeah, I do. Right. <laughs> <laughs> What's your I favorite? I think it's great. Yeah. It's amazing. I love it. Um, uh, ooh. What'd you like? We're, Go ahead. It's okay. We're on TV. Uh, no, I love uh, Go ahead. Love Hip Hop Atlanta. Right, right. I do. <laughs> I actually am a big fan of reality TV. Mm -hmm. I think it's an extension of us. Not going to lie, sometimes we can be with people and it will make us be something that we didn't necessarily want to be. So you have to tell that person, you know, I didn't leave you alone because you're making me become something that I am not. Right. Yeah. But I think we all can be a little ratchet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think, not yeah, can be, we are ratchet. Right. Yeah. We will own our ratchetness. <laughs> 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 but I mean, it's, it's entertainment. Right. I, I see love it. it. Right. I see it. I see the relatability. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was see? Like, yeah, see? I see it. You know, you sing all deep and soulful, but you, you know, you can get down with the get down. I like That's that. That's right. That's a beauty in but it. Absolutely. You know? <laughs> when we get back, our girl Algebra Blessed performs. You do not want to miss it. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Album recovery, ladies and gentlemen, Algebra Blessed. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Boy, listen, everybody can't be in my head. Everybody can't sleep in my bed. Everybody can't be. All in my face Everybody can't be all in my space Now I might fuss a little bit Cuss a little bit You know this, yeah But if you trust a little bit You gon' get 100% I don't want nobody but you Don't want nobody touching me, baby Recovery drops this October. Hashtags after this. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. I don't want nobody but you. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody yeah. kissing me, baby. Yeah. But you don't want nobody touching me, baby. But you, yeah. <laughs> I love it. That was awesome.
items we didn't get to but we still think you should know that is right a london office has replaced its receptionist with a hologram named shanice hashtag black holograms do not neck grow <laughs> <laughs> budget cuts mean 57,000 preschoolers can't go to head start hashtag Chuck E. Cheese, turn up! <laughs> <laughs> Thousands show interest in purchasing one-way tickets to Mars. Hashtag, white flight has gone too far. <laughs> As always, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching Absolutely. Ladies Night. Please follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and make sure you use the hashtag Ladies Night TV. <laughs> Watch more episodes of us on our website at ladiesnighttv.net. Thank you so much for watching. Stay beautiful! <laughs>